I'm Dr. Martina Rongovius, the Creative Director of the Centre for Holographic Arts in New York City. So the Holo Centre was founded in 1998. I mean, I think when people first see a hologram, the reaction that you just get time and time again is wow. Uh, I often sort of talk about uh, if we had the wow meter running, you know, in terms of there are some days where you just feel like it's palpable in the, in the gallery. I mean, it's just so many people are inspired. You know, your head is kind of going, what did I just experience? What did I just see? The simplest process, which is also used in, in to some degree in these, is to take the thing that you're trying to make a hologram of, you know, an object, something three-dimensional, put the holographic film on top of it, and then you're recording, you're recording the light as it's coming off that object, you're recording the directions of the light through that film. So it becomes a window and you see that object. Like you're rendering out the paths of light and printing them in hologram by hologram. So there's maybe 10,000 holograms in one piece. Yeah, so colour in holograms, it's, it's working with the colour of light. So you're using pure light. So it's completely different to pigment colours. So you've got your, your spectrum of colours that you can work with. And then I have to say it splits again. So there are really two different types of holograms. The transmission hologram, like these ones you see here, as you go up and down, the colours change and you're moving through the rainbow of colours. So you're seeing all of the colours. And the really great holograms know and can mix and match and just create these incredibly beautiful light sculptures. Michael Bleinberg is an artist from Germany. Uh, he actually works a lot with white architectures and design. So he came from painting uh, and really wanted to sort of almost like paint with the colours of the holograms. This piece by Michael Bleinberg titled The Shaman is a hologram that's a homage to his art teacher and his art teacher's art teacher. It's a portrait of the people who aren't there. The hologram is like a note, it's reflecting a single kind of frequency of light. You can change that, you can tune that, you can expand it, contract it. It's a physical property of that hologram. This is the hologram Random Memories by Pascal Gauchet. It's composed of eight different holographic panels and each in each one is both a scene that's recorded from photographs and an abstract image. I really see the future of holography as a hybrid technology. So we're now getting sort of the computing power and the information power and the design power that we're seeing in virtual and augmented reality. It's approaching holography. And so holography is kind of been like sitting on the side here while all these digital technologies have been getting like more and more spatial, more and more immersive, and now they're starting to combine. And I find that really exciting. And I think that's part of what keeps me going in holography is just the, that, that conveying of just pure, just like visual delight. Thank you.